Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good day and welcome once again to class. In today's lesson, we shall be looking at how to find the value of x in this particular question. Look at the question again. We want to find the value for x that will be true. That when we say 2 to the power of x will be equal to 3 to the power of log 2 in base of 5. So let us find out the correct answer to this particular question. But before then, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also do well to share it as well with your friends and loved ones. So follow me as we go into the solution. But we are given that 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of log 2 in base of 5. The first thing to do when we are confronted with a challenge like this is to take the log of both sides. So, and I want to take the log of both sides in base of 5. So I want to take the log of both sides in the base of 5 because the base here is 5. So that's why I'm using 5. So this becomes log of in base 5, 2 to the power of x equals to log of 3. Then remember, the base is 5. Then the power is log of 2 in base of 5. Now we are going to apply the rule that says that when we have a log, for instance, b to the power of c, the power we multiply the log, so this becomes c log of b. So that's what we are going to apply here. So our x we move here, so this becomes x log 2 in base 5. Then everything here is a power, don't forget. So everything here that is the power will now move to this part. This becomes log of 2 base 5 times log of 3 in base of 5. Good. So what do I do next? I want to obtain the value for x. x is multiplying this. So I will divide here by log 2 in base 5. What to do to the right, you must do to the left. log of 2 in base 5. So here, what do we have? Log of 2 in base 5 cancels log of 2 in base 5. Here, log of 2 in base 5 cancels log of 2 in base 5. So I'm left with x here. And I'm left with log of what? 3 in base of 5. Good, that's the value for x. But looking at our option, you will find out that we have different options here. Certainly, it cannot be D. So, D is out. It, can also, it cannot also be A. So, A is out. Then, looking at B and C, let's look at it. Now, my base is 5. So, it cannot be this. So certainly, this is going to be the correct answer. But I'm going to prove it to you that that is the answer. Remember that we found that x is log 3 base 5, which is valid. But because this option, this answer, is not here, they gave it to us in a different form. And I'm telling you that this is the correct answer. I want to prove this to you that this is the answer. So what do I do? I know that we have a law in log reading that says if I want this base, for instance, this particular log to express it, I can express this log in this form, that this is the same thing as log of 3 over log of 5. Then I can put it in base 5. They are the same thing. It means the same. So using this approach, I will say 1 plus Right? This is equals to my x. So let's go. Therefore, 
x is equals to 1 plus we know from the law of log reading that if I have log a over b it means log a minus log b as long as the basis are the same in this case the basis let's say base b so this is b this is b and we know that there's a rule that says when the base and the log are the same it cancels out it becomes one we are going to apply that here therefore we can say this is log three in base five minus log of five in base five like i've explained when the log and the base are the same it cancels out to become one this is minus one this is one plus log three in base five right so therefore one will cancel one so you can see we are back to log three base five so it means that b is the correct option so i would encourage you pause this video or rewind so that you can understand the steps that were taken to obtain the correct answer bye for now